This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! You got most! It has explosive run plays all over the field. Run. Impossible to stop glitch routes. And won't play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, oh my God! Stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code Money for three percent off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll once again be using my Saints offense and multi D defensive ebooks as I think they're two of the best playbooks to use in Madden 23 right now. But I'm always looking for suggestions for the next playbook that you guys want me to use. So if you have any good suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Before getting into the video though, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays on offense or defense right now from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. Download. The offense that I'll be using once again today is the Gun Tight Offset TE, which I think is the most explosive offense in the game right now. This is the second video that I've made about this offense, as this offense is always evolving, and I am constantly finding new money plays and glitches in this formation. So if you guys missed the first video and want to see more, I have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video. So stick around for that. My audible play setup is still the exact same though, as I will replace the first play with the Saint Spot Shake, which has several glitch routes in it. I will keep the inside zone as my default run play for now, but there are several really good run plays to choose from here the third play is always the saints in as it has several glitch routes that beat man coverage and the last play is the pa shot scenes which is a one play touchdown versus just about every single defense in the game the fifth play that i choose to start with can change but i usually go with the saints spot since it has a good mix of man and zone beaters on both sides on the first play though i read zone so i switch to the Saints spot shake as both of these wheel routes will usually be uncovered so i hit the running back for an easy few yards just so i can get back to the huddle and see what defense my opponent was running which was a cover four on the next play it looks like he might be in a cover two pre-snap but when i see him drop the safety down i decide to take a shot there no matter what so i make my cover two adjustment by putting the x route on a streak only to find that he's in a cover three <laughs> But I take the shot anyways and come down with it right in front of his safety. Now inside the red zone, I read what looks like a man zero, so I switch to the Saints in, and every route gets open here, but the B route is a one-play touchdown, as he always gets wide open if you throw it in the break. On defense, I'm still using my dime normal cover two defense that I put out in a video just yesterday, as this play is absolutely shut down, but I'll be focusing more on offense setup, so if you guys want to know more about this defense, I once again have a link in the description and at the end of the video, so stick around for that. On the first play, nothing is open as he has to throw it away, but then on the second play, he pulls out his cover two man beater and gets inside a field goal range before almost mossing me for a touchdown the very next play. That was a close one. On second down, he gets a big run for the first before the pass rush gets home on the next play to force an incomplete pass. Then on second down, he hits me with a screen, but I stop him short of the first. So on third and one, I switch over to Manzer Blitz from the scheme and shoot the gap to get the stop. He goes for it on fourth and two and just barely gets the first before hurrying me up on the next play. I switch back to the same man zero to force a quick pass before making the play of the game as we jump 10 feet in the air with a 68 overall undrafted safety named Reed Blankenship. And he isn't done yet as we get around the pile and easily take it all the way for a pick six. Man, Brady should have just retired, bro. Just like that. Back on defense, I can already see his play and he is calling some really good man-beating concepts out of the gun bunch and working his way right down the field once again, getting first downs on back-to-back -back plays to get in the scoring range. He then picks up six on the ground, so on the next play, I switch over to the cover zero once again to find that the alignment is forcing me to cover the slot receiver with my user, and I am completely out of position at the start of the play. So I motion him into that position just before the play starts, only to see Tom Brady floated up in his direction. Gotcha, bitch! And now Reed Blankenship has his second interception of the game. Back on offense, since my opponent is running a lot of man coverages, I'm going to start to use a counter run trick from this formation that I first learned when someone was using it against me. Copycat League, right? All you have to do is motion across either receiver and the 
the man defender and coverage will follow, leaving nothing but space for the counter run as we easily pick up another first down. That's just too easy. If you plan on running the ball like this, I recommend leaving the tight end in the game for better blocking, but if you want to pass more, you can also set your package as a halfback one, which will replace him with a fourth receiver, which I do on the next play, and it might be partially responsible for a less successful run. <laughs> as I only get four yards on the next carry. On the next play, I switch over to the same spot shake once again as he is still in that cover four, and like I said earlier in the video, both of these wheel routes get open instantly. And since his user is on this side, we hit the receiver for another easy first down. On the next play, I see that he is in the exact same defense, so I do it again, and I'll continue until he stops it. He switches over to cover one on the next play, which is a much better option, so on third and one, I try to pick it up on the ground. Nope. Only to get denied the first and push backwards. So on fourth and three now from my own side of the field, I decided to go for it, which is something that I rarely do, but since he ran cover one the last two plays and had success, I'm pretty sure that he's going to stay in that. So I call my best man being play the Saints in one more time. And even though he's in cover one instead of cover zero, the exact same route gets open. And we almost score, at least we probably would have if we had a faster receiver running this route. On the next play, he does what most people do when they have no idea how to stop an offense, as he comes out in another man zero blitz. So I see it and switch to the same spot shake one more time, knowing that the running back will be wide open and covered. And now you gotta pass the sticks, bro. Do it! Now down 21 nothing. he doesn't give up though, as the fade route returns and proves to be the Achilles heel of this defense. Yeah. As he gets inside the red zone in just one play. And now Tom Brady is looking like Lamar Jackson as he makes an unreal pass into tight coverage before punching it in. He also gets the ball to start the second half, and since he's coming out in empty backfield looks, I start to use a new defense from Man Zero Blitz, where I basically just use one of the blitzing cornerbacks, forcing him to throw it away. On the next play, he barely picks up the first on the ground before the pressure gets home on the next play, forcing an incomplete pass. On the play after that, though, I see the stack wide receiver set, and I know how glitchy they are, so I try to adjust, but he hikes the ball before I can set up my defense. Houston, we have a problem. Only to get one of the easiest touchdowns you will ever see. On the next play, I decided to run for it instead of throwing to the hat back in the flats before switching over to the 0-1 trap, which might be the best run play in the formation, as I probably would have had a touchdown if I didn't accidentally truck at the end of this play, but I'm still averaging close to 10 yards of carry. I continue to run the ball by going back to the counter run, as you can also gain an advantage by motioning a receiver into the area. Even if it brings the defender across like it does here, I still get a 5-yard gain before going back to the original motion and getting another 4 yards to force a critical third and short, only to see that he is once again in zone coverage. So, any Anytime I see that, I switch over to the Saints spot shake, and this route is like stealing as we get another first down. I decide to keep running as the clock is in my favor, and I get another 5 plus yard run before going right back to the 0-1 trap to get it to a first and goal. And now I'm running the clock down as all I need is a score to make a comeback a tough task. On the next play, I see cover 0 man defense again, so I try the wheel route, but he is all over it this time as he barely keeps me out of the end zone at the 1 yard line before I switch to the inside zone for the first time this game to punch it in. My opponent isn't going away though as he splits my cover two one more time right down the middle and he is already in scoring range before almost scoring on a fade on the very next play. That was a close one. And now his receivers are giving out stiff arms like King Henry <laughs> as Julio Jones picks up another first down before getting out of bounds. And now he's dinking and dunking me right down the field which is okay by me since the clock is my biggest concern. I just have to keep him from scoring too fast as he almost scores on the next play again. Where is Reed Blankenship when you need him? Oh there he is. No! So now in a critical third and ten, he tries to pick up the first on a curl route, but he picked the wrong guy to do it against, as Big Play Slate lives up to his name one more time, almost ending the game with only two minutes left. But I still have to get a few first downs, and I start with one to the running back once again, as his man zero blitz leaves nobody in coverage. After the two-minute warning, I see that he's in the same man zero blitz, so I go right back to the Saints in. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> only this time, Zach Pascal has the wheels. He could! Go! Oh. And now the defense is pinned its ears back as we get our first sack of the game before he tries to test a lit up big play slay one more time. Oops. And now we have the ball with under a minute left. On the next play, I read an uneven formation, so I switch back to the Saints spot shake, which is probably my favorite play at this point, only to see the X route split the safeties deep for what is almost a walk-in touchdown. Mostly because I'm mad that he's wasting my time instead of just rage quitting already. But this man doesn't know how to rage quit as he is still fighting to come back in a way that would make the real Tom Brady proud. I mean, real talk, most people quit too easily, but this man is playing like he still thinks he can score four touchdowns in under two seconds. So in the last play of the game, we get another interception with Big Play Slay to send Tom Brady into another embarrassing defeat. Just retire already. We get a quick look at the stats, and I didn't know that I almost completed every single pass, but I'm guessing that will be the title of the video. So that's the vid. As 
always, if you guys like this type of video, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the video and the channel. Other than that, I will have more videos about the offense and defense that I was using in today's gameplay popping up on screen. So if you guys want to learn more about that, just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Munch it out. Support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.